Ciao and welcome to our how to configure cache declaration. Once we open the configuration file on Kubrick, we go to config, drawer totals and check cache declaration. Second, we will configure which drawer will be included in the cache declaration. Attention here because the drawers we will not consider will have option one, number six active. It means we will only consider the remarked in blue for the cache declaration. Theop said which report will use the cache declaration, setting on option 2, number 4. As for, we will limit the clerks forcing them to perform the cache declaration. There are some texts which are possible to edit. One is the general message cache declaration. And the second is the general text used as prefix for the difference between the real total, it means the one which is on the drawer, and the declared by the clerk. Those are all the required configuration. We install our program. To understand how cache declaration work, we will perform some sales. For example, a first one, paying in cash, and a second one, paying with MasterCard. Now, to emit clerk report, the register will ask the two totals that we configure on drawer totals. First, cash in drawer. We will say, for example, $15. Confirm the amount with cash key. And now, the register will ask dollar in drawer. We didn't use it, so we only press cash key to confirm the zero amount. The report is finally printed. On top appears the cash declaration information. These values are the ones we declare. On total sale, we will see how much money the register received. This is included, for example, one with cash and the second with MasterCard. On our drawer total, specifically on cash and drawer, we notice the difference between the money the register has and the amount declared. It means $1,80 difference. And this is it. Thank you for watching.